Hello and good morning. I'm Sanjay Mullah from uh, Toradex uh, Systems uh, India. Now we are at uh, Emirates System Technology Forum, Bangalore. Here with me is uh, my customer and my partner, uh, Dr. Seva from uh, Konet Pian. We're going to talk about Toradex platform and the application and the product that we have created uh, along with our uh, customer here. So uh, to begin with, you know, the product that uh, our customer has used uh, is uh, a Colibri family product, which is uh, Colibri T30 uh, module. It's, 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 it's a quad processor and uh, clocks at 1.4 gigahertz. It's an NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor there. Uh, this module has, um, uh, you know, uh, comes with uh, <coughs> 1 GB of uh, DDR3 RAM and 2 GB eMMC flash. No, new version comes with the 4 GB of eMMC flash. And um, as far as operating system is concerned, it has uh, Windows embedded uh, Compact 7 2013. It can we can we can offer Android. Of course, that comes through our uh, partner network, which is always uh, which is listed on our website and the partner page. And um, in terms of product availability, we are we are we are we are, um, we are making it available to 2025 as of now. It comes in commercial grade. Now it is also available in um, IT grade. That's uh, minus 42 plus 85 degrees. Uh. So what they have done is initially they have used our evaluation board and the module uh, Colibri T30 and uh, you know created this uh, application and product out of, out of it. And later on they have I was told that they have customized uh, the base board so as to add a little more functionality to the board. Uh, what they have added is analog camera module uh, functionality and uh, power on Ethernet PoE to the base board. So with that, that's the introductory part of uh, the Toradex platform that they have used. Uh, I introduce uh, Dr. Seva now, and uh, she, as I said, she's uh, the CTO of Beyond Technologies. Uh, Dr. Ken, quickly take us through uh, your end product and the application that you have created uh, using the platform. Please. Thank you. Conipian is a company that works on software products and we specialize in video analytics products. So uh, the idea is uh, we take in the video feed from a camera and uh, do analyze it and provide real-time notification and alerts with the whatever analysis that we have done. So as a strategy we are now, uh, uh, we focus on the uh, transport sector. So the software products that we work on is uh, parking management system where you know we track the car, we do the number plate recognition, and we at the back end feed all this data so that it can be managed well. Like we know, tell the parking the parking is full or not, and who's coming. Okay. And the toll management, we uh, similarly we analyze the cars, uh, the vehicle that is coming with the number plate, mm -hmm. and um, also assist in the toll collection, uh, the amounts. And in the, the third segment that we work in is city surveillance, which is actually um, quite, uh, it's growing now okay. with all the security threats that are there, right, especially right. in India, it is a big, uh, big concern. It's a big so, in India. Yeah, and with the smart city concept sure. that is growing. So we feel that, uh, you know, the, the number of cameras that we will be using will be a lot more than what we do in parking management and tolls. So, in this case, we needed to redesign a solution, okay? okay? Because uh, we needed to, uh, if you have something like 100 cameras, so the compute that is required for 100 cameras is a lot more, so the server requirement becomes very, uh, very, demanding, very, yeah. very demanding and very high. So we wanted to distribute our computing. And also, in, uh, the network bandwidth that is required when you are streaming in HD resolution is very high. So if you do your analytics at the edge, it's not necessary for you to stream the entire HD resolution. You can actually be streaming a lower re resolution, which is just for, uh, for, for your recording. Okay. Okay? So in this case, we decided to get, get into embedded uh, boxes at the edge. So that along with your camera, you put in your uh, computing power there and uh, stream only the required data out at the server end where the management is done. Okay. So that's when we came in to look and we did a lot of research uh, to different variety of chips and people who are giving us these boards. In fact, we tried out at least five or six evaluation boards of other companies. Okay. And we found that the Toradex uh, the support uh, that was provided for us to actually build because we are a software company we didn't have too much of knowledge about the hardware, hardware so uh, and we knew our requirements and we had very specific requirements about low light camera uh, 
which is what the camera analog cameras provided to us the ccd sensor that is there in analog camera right. gives us very good video in low lights mm -hmm. so we wanted that analog camera and besides that for power um, uh, you know the infrastructure that is required for power right. we wanted to reduce on that right. so we wanted poe on the boxes okay. because most of the ip cameras actually provide provide that so that is the reason why uh, we decided to go for uh, toradex and uh, also the customization that was provided and the ability of moving like right. in case now tomorrow i want to do uh, maybe change over maybe i don't need the entire quad core i need a smaller uh, so, the sm so this modularity of my platform is a great plus for your uh, Definitely. application yes, so yes. you can you can upscale it and down to yeah. depending on the kind of application that you are working no then obviously next one is that you know uh, uh, interesting question uh, to me. Yeah, why Toradex? Uh, so you have had, you have, I guess you have tested a lot in the other platform as well, right? Yeah, we did. So why Toradex? Uh, because these are, uh, see, these solutions require a lot of technical support mm -hmm. because uh, we have a very targeted requirement. Like right. I need it to work with a certain camera. I do not have too much of, uh, I mean, I do not have too many power connections there. Mm -hmm. So power over ethernet is a big plus That's so when you actually go into the field right, yeah. so the doing this and not having actually a hardware background was uh, we needed the support to understand and how to design and how to go about it that's what we um, I really appreciated that you spent you spent your time and you gave us the support so that we could actually have a solution that I could field test <laughs> recognition on this. So this unit will be on the roadside. Okay. And this is the application that we have built which is a server application and it, uh, it shows this is a look like you, these are the left hand side you will see the locations in which the devices have been attached. So like for example right now uh, we are looking at a place in Pune uh, in Maharashtra and we have attached one uh, camera and a, and a device there. This is a live feed. And this is the highway in which the number plate recognition is being done. And these vehicles are moving, none of them are stopping. And all the analytics has been done on the song at 10, 10 frames per second. So you've done this live feed and the way we're on the process of that. And then our application on it. We have coded our application on it. And the analytics is done there. Only the extracted data, that is the image and the OCR and the timestamp, the certain metadata that is required for us to do the data analytics, is pushed back onto the server. So, and it's working quite fine. Like we have uh, tested it out. We have about five prototype boxes, and we have tested it out in different scenes like parking management, and uh, highways. And uh, so when you say tested, the data that it has passed the field trials so far, and the performance is consistent. So we have been working uh, together on this project for almost 18 months now. Yeah. So how has been the experience so far in terms of uh, you know um, support that we have extended and your 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 comments on the reliability of the hardware platform that we have provided? Yeah, see there was another uh, like I really appreciate the other part. Like initially when we got the chip, uh, there was no IT grade support for right. it. But uh, since the requirement was such, and it was a concern first of all because of the heating and right. whether, whether we would really be able to put it into the field and you know use it on the roadside. Right. So when you came back and let me know that it was IT grade right. and I could really use it, it was a big load of our, uh, you know. But I'm pleased to announce that you know we have already got the IT data shipment now, so we will be, we'll be soon working on that and I will share examples. Well, with that, I thank you very much and I wish you all the best for your future campaign with Torrex. Thank you. Thank you.